as usual. Perfect, perfect, perfect weather. Yeah, and we're going, what street is we're going up here? We're going up Place Royale. Right, we're going to go get that sign. Actually, this is Rue Notre Dame here. Here's a little view down the street. Guys playing the the glasses with the water in it. This is yeah. the Quebec flag. Yeah, this oh, that's the Quebec one. or the French? No, the middle one is the, the middle one the with the fleur de lis or something. But you don't we don't see that, right? Between the buildings is one of the biggest ships I've ever seen. What was it? Something of the seas? Um, seven, what was seven seas, right? No, it wasn't seven seas. A monster ship with beautiful no, balconies. Look at all these balconies on there, huh? That's the kind of room we need for. Yeah, we're not going balcony for room. If we're going to cruise, we're going on the right. Place Royale, just one of the many small plots, uh, places in, throughout uh, Quebec. Quebec means the narrowing of the river, in Indian word, where the St. Lawrence narrows very uh, sharply. It's only about maybe 100 yards wide, and in some places it's 7 kilometers wide. So what do you say, go into the church? Or no, not, not this church, another church. Is it going there? There's a woman singing a little concert out in front. Here's a painted uh, house. There's a painted house, Volker says, and we are in Quebec. Many art galleries, a very artistic town. Well, here is a painted house. This is what Volker was talking about. I've seen several of these where they have a, a building that is not so interesting, and then they paint the side of it. Look at this. It's all painted. <laughs> it even gives you a three-dimensional effect. It's flat, but you have a three-dimensional feel. All of these windows are painted. Man with a beer mug. The French speaking here on the bottom shirt heard about him. Heard of him. Il est the colony. Kissing on the balcony or some kind of an area there. We'll just go back and scan the whole thing to give him a feel for this. Fantastic city. What the uh, the wall looked like before. And now they've created this plaque here to describe all the scenes that are on it and here's the tour group and above the tour group is this part of the wall I'll just scan this going up here's the natural um, rock formation it sits about 150 meters above sea level here above the river level and then that's the inside of the wall behind it and the outside are all these buildings going down to the river it is what it is? Yeah, it, it it's a little courtyard. With some beautiful trees. And what color are those trees? The trees are actually green, and a little bit of reddish. Right up on the tips, huh? They're getting there. And some excavations here on the outside of the wall. This is just a not a very uh, famous section of Quebec, but just typical. Actually, every every street you turn on has got some historical or artistic effort behind it. Let's say this, Quebec at one time was a uh, shipbuilding center. The first steamboat to cross the Atlantic Ocean was built in Quebec. In Quebec. In Quebec. And here's a building with, there's the, the flags of Quebec, I guess. That is the Hotel Fairmont, right near where the um, Funicular is. We'll be trying. We're looking for the funicular where it drops down here. This is a beautiful area. I hear somebody calling me. Folk is going down where the funicular must be someplace. We're going down a very steep set of stairs. Have you found the funicular yet? No. You see any signs of it? And you can see the crowds coming here. Beautiful day. A lot of school kids. This looks like a high school or maybe a college class that have come to Quebec. Want to go down or you want to go up? No, we're going the down there. Here's the tobacco. Here's the funicular going up. 
to the city. We're going to finish the a tour. $1. fifty yeah. ride, yeah, and they finish, we, we're going to finish the tour up there? That's what he said, up the plus. But we could, have, we could have them drop, no, that's, that's the morning tour. The painting of the, uh, it's the Chateau Frontenac, right? Is that what it was called? Two hundred and fifty bucks. Folk is going into another little shop here. Art sign of 125 years of history with the funicular on the side of it. Too much water, huh? No. Folk is coming down. Out. You hiding your face? All of these uh, streets. This is how high we are from the bottom up to the hotel. Pontenac, Elvis everywhere. Here we are in the back of a bus. We got an Elvis story coming on Quebec television. So we're on here. Tours of old Quebec. Folk is getting on. Okay. This is the second largest boat after the QE2, QE3, whatever it is now. This is a monster boat. Just an absolute monster. Look at all those I don't know how high, high it is. There's another big one behind it, but it's dwarfed by the length of this one. Huge, beautiful cabins. Lots of balconies. Parlez-vous français, madame? Et votre nom? Qu'est-ce que c'est votre nom? Madame Franck. Ooh. We are on the outside of the Citadel right now. The plains of and behind us are the plains of Abraham. This is the river, the beautiful St. Lawrence River at this point, which freezes, completely freezes over, but they have icebreakers that keep the waterway open. They've been doing this for 40 years. Prior to that time, the ice could freeze up to 18 feet thick. And there is... Um, the land across from Quebec City, still part of Quebec. Bicycle trap for the boardwalk. You got to stop your bike and carry it over, I guess, if you've taken it here. Seeing these bright red fern-like plants, it's really a small tree, I guess, but from a distance, the leaves look like ferns, and they have been exploding in red colors, driving up here. Abraham, which are just outside rolling hills of of uh, green that was the playground of the rich. Okay, let me have the camera so you can uh, Parliament building, the green roof. The the zooms in, you can get it. And then up there is the Hilton and we our hotel is behind the Hilton and the on the side of the old city. And here is the strange American. I don't know what he's doing here. Bye bye. <laughs> he doesn't want to talk anymore. I can't tell, but... That is definitely maple leaf. Look at that. Yeah, the leaf definitely looks maple. It's a maple tree mm -hmm. in beautiful fall colors. Stop. How about what we saw after we left um, wherever we were? I, they were bushes or trees that looked like fern, but they were, they're not fern. And they're absolutely bright, beautiful red. And I'm going to the bathroom. And what about, where are we now? This chocolate, did you buy any chocolate? No. No chocolate in this chocolate factory? We just had lunch here on the island of Orléans. We had a delicious uh, lunch. Folke had a sandwich and I had the, what is that, onion tort. Lorraine, that's what I had. It was the quiche, it was excellent. A typical red roof house here on the farmlands of Ile d'Orléans. Trees and balloons. Stinked a little bit? Stinked sehr, sehr. Okay, go get our seat. There's another red. I just got it. From uh, the boardwalk, it's very good. I don't think it's this is Montmorency. Those are the Montmorency Falls we're going to see in a minute. And this is the mansion. And this is the lady of the mansion, the queen of Montmorency from France. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour, monsieur. Comment allez-vous? A small uh, cruise ship from Quebec City coming out around the Ile d'Orléans, the Isle of Orleans. And we just went over that bridge and came back. This is where we had our sandwich and our quiche Lorraine. 
and this is the bay coming into the waterfalls if we're going to walk around these waterfalls here. There's a uh, set of stairs you can walk from the bottom. Looks like the Wall of China up to that thing. Walk to that bridge that's above the falls and shoot down the falls that we're looking at right here. These falls are about twice the size, twice the height of Niagara Falls. Not as wide, of course, but beautiful falls. There's some of those fire red leaves that we saw. Saw forests of this coming here. Just a beautiful foliage here in the Canadian wilds.